Hi guys, it's Tana here from Winnie and Minnie Photography, back with another editing video. And today we're going to I'm going to show you how to apply a texture on the background of this image here of Baby Jian. Um, she's six weeks old here, so she's super cute and super chubby, but so perfect. Um, I've got so many comments on this little cherub and how squishy and cute she is. So I thought I would show you how to apply the texture onto this particular image. Now this backdrop here is from Divine Miss Ruby Designs and it is just a plain colored backdrop. There's no, um, not too much, it's got texture but not too much texture. So you could do this even with a solid color backdrop if you wanted to as well. Just, it probably wouldn't work on anything that's like a wooden floor or um, that's got an image, you know, like a floral image or something on the background because it would be a bit too crazy. But you can take this technique and apply it to whatever your imagination can think of pretty much. So what we're going to do is literally this is a antique frame that I saw when I was out and about and I just took a photo of it with my iPhone and I thought at least then I can play with it when I get home because I didn't have my computer. Uh, my camera, sorry, so I thought an iPhone photo is better than nothing. And it actually works just fine because um, it's really not the main part of the image. It's just adding the texture from the highlights and the lowlights. So um, I will show you how we did it. So basically what I did was I cropped and I just removed the inside here of the image so it was uh, transparent. So it looked like that. Uh, the way to remove the inside like that was to go to the elliptical tool and select a circle. Oops, select a circle. I'll just go over the top so you can see. And then if you need to readjust it, you can just go um, transform selection so that you're getting exactly the circle that you need and not chopping off any of the detail just like that and then I just got the eraser and erased the inside of the circle all right and then I saved that image so now I have that forever to use on anything that I want then I turned the image into a black and white so you can see here, where is it? Here, I went into black and white. So I'll open that one up. And from there, it's got lots of texture in it, lots of contrast, but we can even make it a bit more contrasty if we want to. So just by lifting up those darks, uh, darkening the darks and lifting up the whites, we've got that nice contrasty looking frame. Um, and then from there we can go and put that onto our image of baby Jian. And it opens. Hello computer. Here we go. Alright, so there you go. And then just drag this out to the edges. Like so. And then if we need to resize her in the background, we can a little bit later, but let's just drag it a little bit over the top so we can see a bit more of that nest in the whole circle there. I think that looks nice there. And then from there you have, it's on its own layer there. So what you do is you just change the layer mode into you can play with all these different layer modes but I usually go either screen overlay um, usually works for this kind of thing so even overlay is nice yeah so I would just go bring it back down to zero and slowly start creeping it up so that you have something like that and that's pretty much it and then all I did was I can flatten that image from there and anything that looks a bit funny that I didn't quite really like. See uh, maybe these lines here just don't line up perfectly. You can um, just edit those lines out a bit just to make it a bit neater. 
nothing too fancy and just make it look perfect and that's how you do it I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching so much and look out for lots more videos coming very soon to my online shop and thanks for watching thanks for purchasing